Yes, right behind it. Typical Jason Dunstall. The best I've ever seen man on man one out, Jason Dunstall. Totally committed. Going nowhere. Oh, what a great mark by Dunstall. Terrific hands. And he's marked the ball. Not the word, it's even better. I put down Tony Hall. Kicks towards Dunstall. Couldn't take the mark. Lambert, claimed by Deer. Platten. Oh, somehow he got out of that. The rat. To Dunstall. Clever kick. Finds Mike. by Stuart Edwards. Jarman hasn't had too many touches. His uh, kick goes into the pocket. Dunstall eludes one tackle. Back to Jarman again. Tries to sell it. Back to Dunstall. Will he kick this? <laughs> Welcome back. eventually kicking it in towards Dunstall who takes a break. Nine last week. Two in the first quarter. Not enough talking, but look, there's four of them backing up. Anderson's kick to the goal square. Dunstall, freakish mark. And you're probably wishing it. On that occasion, Ruiz had to do the thing that was go and meet the ball, but he's caught in no man's land, left his man, Paul. Doesn't go very far. Hudson's foot hasn't had a touch yet. Platten kick towards full forward. One on one. Dunstall. Well done, McGrath. But Dunstall's got it again. He may kick his third. The kick across his shoulder is magnificent. A couple of Hawthorne players have been very quiet. Kick this. into the square. Oh, well done. But Dunstall recovers. Left foot shot. He's now kicked four. And determination to half forward. Dunstall with the one hand he is simply too good. Because Tim McGrath actually he's not all that small up in the upper body. He's pretty strong himself, but Jason Dunstall just doing. By Morrissey, Platten goes into an open goal. Dunstall, look, he keeps his foot in brilliantly and gets his sixth goal. Pumps it high and long. Rogers in from the side. Here's another one to Jason. That's a left. The direction of Dunstall. Can he trap it? Tries to shake off Martin. He does so. Now on the left foot. Centers the ball. Gowers. Will he be too tall for Smith? He can give it to Taylor. He hooks it back. Taylor and Dunstall. Dunstall marks. He's killing Gary Kern at the moment. Wants to center it. Wants Dunstall. Too good, just too good. In front of goal, here's a chance for Hawthorne, Pritchard cleverly. Dunstall, dangerous Dunstall, breaks the tackle. Dunstall on the right foot, the champion full forward, hooks it through for his fifth, what a goal! The Dunstall was the bit player of the day, with his nine goals, goes taking the third on and being too good for him. Monday. And Jason Dunstall, a brilliant mark. Otherwise, they might never have been so lucky as to hold him. Uh, I honestly thought he was going to break Fred Fanning's record. And I would say if Hawthorne had have concentrated and thought about the selfish aspect in that every time, they can say all they like about it, Ron. They've got a hundred goal full forward and they play him everywhere. But uh, not for this incident. They don't get reported for playing brilliantly like that. But uh, Dunstall, well, 17 goals. He was quite an extraordinary performance. He's broken... All of the records except the big one of uh, Fanning's yesterday. This was a nasty little piece and certainly not deliberate. Remember what happened to Dunstall two years ago out at Waverley and he had to wear the head guard. He was out of action for a long time. But uh, he recovered fully from that. His best performance prior to yesterday was 12 goals, uh, both times against Geelong and uh, 17 yesterday. Jarman again feeding him off. And uh, Peter McKenna said yesterday they didn't look for Dunstall any more than normal. They played their... Their game as normal, and this was a 17 to break the Hudson record of 16 for the club. He broke the Waverley record. It was pathetic, Don, and uh, at times when the players were, weren't under any pressure, Dunstall again. So you don't like to see it. Uh, Dunstall, well, we saw him on Tuesday night at the uh, SCG where he took uh, very little part in the uh, interstate game. But Slow start, dominated after half-time. They kicked uh, 12 goals to three. Really, Bernie, I'm a bit quiet on these. Yeah, well, there's a couple of ordinary ones. Dunstall. With Dunkley. Hudson looking for him. Dunstall a chance. Good mark. Right in front. And th he gets his hands wrapped around that ball. It's very hard to knock the ball away. 
couple of Swans defenders there, putting Look. enormous pressure. Cordy. Dunstall for number seven. Oh, that was a pass. Oh. That was brilliant. Gee, there's some movement on the forward line. Dunstall. Zanotti with him. Dunstall marks. 40 metres from goal. And did well. Intended for Dunstall. Oh. Zanotti is there. Oh, great mark. Well, yeah. Zanotti could... You look at the way he arches his back here and flies, uses a body in air, Dunstall. Running down the middle. Doesn't go long. A chip in towards full forward. Dunstall! That looks like number 99. With a little bit of space. That was a throw, but got away with it. And at the centre of the ground was Dunstall. And could this be number 100? Been there a couple of times before, of course, Jason Dunstall. It shouldn't be a problem. Nerves lining up for the hundred. Kicking from about 25 metres out. Well, this is a soda for his hundredth. Leans back, straight through the middle. 100 goals, Jason Dunstall. And here come the Hawk fans. There's going to be a hold up here because they're streaming onto the ground. Out come the mounted police. But what a fine achievement by Jason Dunstall. 100 goals and really his congratulations to Jason Dunstall and Hawthorne have been quite outstanding he's been averaging 4.64 goals a game 737 goals and 159 matches coming into today's game and as a former great full forward Bernie you'd be very proud of him yes well that's the third time he's kicked over 100 goals Jason Dunstall he may get another one here What a superb mark that one from Dunstall. As Gowers gets at the hall, Dunstall's got a couple to beat. Dunstall! Yes! Great mark! Go back to the centre of the ground then. Greg Anderson really did take his eyes off the ball on that occasion. And uh, that caused that ball to come free there on the wing. And he'd be disappointed. It's the ball 70 metres. Dunstall at the back. Yes! Oh. That was a magnificent kick then. He really did set it up then for Dunstall. And Dunstall just edging. Normally a long kick of the ball. Accuracy is the problem. Rocker really didn't get a fist to it. But Dunstall got a boot to it. And that's his second. Gow is again the target on that half forward flank. Dunstall at the back. Doesn't quite get there for Hudson. Now Dunstall. Still Dunstall. Left foot. Gee, this oh. is going to go through. I think it is. Beautiful. On stage, and uh, he didn't look to be kicking confidently at all, but he kicked some great goals. He may have sewn up the goal-kicking premiership yesterday, the John Coleman medal, by kicking 12. He seems to have too big a lead now for Lockett. A couple of his goals were tremendous. He... High. Dunstall waits at the back. It comes to him. Ducks the tackle. Gives the hand pass to Platten. Great footy. Platten goals. They are the Masters from 48 metres. Condon's drop punt is to the right, but a good strong mark is taken in the square. And now 